This is uh, Carlos Donco. I started playing harmonica, I was uh, 14 years old, and uh, a friend of mine in high school played guitar, and he had one of those little neck braces and played guitar and harmonica on the rack, but it was the sound of him uh, bending a note that did it for me. And I loved this sound, and so I, I bought one within a week or two, and in my high school, you know, you have those stairs that go up four flights, and you have the really good echo. So I, of course, had practice in the stairwell, started listening to records and trying to imitate what I heard on the records. The very first blues harmonica record I bought actually was a Paul Butterfield record. Uh, the very first Paul Butterfield record, it was just called the Paul Butterfield Blues Band. And then, I mean, at the same time I was listening to blues, I was listening, of course, I was a teenager and I was listening to uh, progressive rock and, and uh, but I was started buying some harmonica records like Little Walter, Sonny Boy, but also Lee Oscar. You know, all these people had an influence on the way that I play. I don't play in a very, uh, traditional blues style, but really blues is still my first love, even though a lot of my records are not as much blues. It's still, it's really still my first passion. I mean, the first 10 years that I played, I was really, just trying to imitate what I heard on records. And, and, and I'm really still mostly, play, I play by ear. And you know, after 10 years, I started teaching myself some music theory, very basic music theory, and then trying to understand how scales work and on the harmonica, and I was like, okay. And then I met Howard, and after 15 years of playing, and of course, he, that was a complete eye-opener because he was doing all these crazy things, it was of course, a huge influence in, in, in opening the doors to playing in a more jazzy style. And then eventually I realized, <laughs> partly I didn't think I had the discipline to be a serious jazz player. And secondly, I think my, my, I was still happier playing mostly blues. So I, I, I mix a little bit jazz with the blues that I do. always been the uh, the biggest enemy of every harmonica player you know even if you're very good is to to give it you know the popularity that the guitar has you know and uh, yeah I think a lot of the people here who are performing are changing that <laughs> I'm still using the golden melodies. I, I've modified them a little bit. And uh, sometimes putting a wooden comb um, on the lower keys makes them play a bit brighter. And I'll open up the covers a little bit, play on the golden melodies to make them project a bit more. I mean, every professional player is modifying their harmonica somewhat, you know. And Honer, of course, is getting better and better all the time and making better instruments. And they're listening to the players. And uh, so it's, it's all exciting times. Mm -hmm. 